Yeah, you look, so when I hear the term, hey, we need employee benefits, and I think of what's important to that person, I, I really, there's not a one size fits all answer for that, unfortunately, but normally the main thing is, do I have really good medical, dental, vision, right? That's like the baseline. Then having an EAP program, honestly, that's starting to become a baseline. When you have a wellness program, well, what's the participation of that wellness program? And is it successful? Who's actually benefiting from it, right? That's like another thing you should think of is not only like what benefits do you give, but what benefits do people actually want to receive? And what are they talking about in the break room, right? What are they talking about? Are they excited about some of this stuff? One of the ones I found that was the most um, exciting was a tuition reimbursement program from a group that did this. Whereas like if you worked any time for any amount of time that year, part time, full time, janitor, CEO, whomever, they will give you five to ten thousand dollars a year towards you getting your either um, degree or getting higher education of some sort, whether that be like an extension class or anything like that. So, you know, when it comes to benefits, there's like the main ones, 401k, medical, dental, vision and all that. But really think about like your employee demographics and what you want to do and think about it this way. You can get creative. You can change it every year. Right. So if you want to do tuition reimbursement, because maybe your team, they've been with you for a long time. All the little kids that were at the company picnic 10 years ago are now all grown up and getting ready for college. Let's talk about that. Um, and maybe what we also want to do is now that people are going to college and they're spending all this money, maybe we really want to talk about beefing up our retirement plan or bringing in your insurance broker or someone else to say, hey, what are some other benefits we can offer um, you know, outside of the company? Should we offer discounts on auto? Should we offer you know, discounts on gym memberships? Should we maybe even have like a physical therapist come in twice a month and give little neck massages and such? What is like the best thing for our team to boost morale and get them excited about working on the projects of the problems that we have for our customers? That at, that at the end of the day is the best answer I can give because there's millions of things out there. But um, yeah, you just want to think about your team and really figuring out how can I make them feel good. <laughs>